Sorry to keep you waiting, Michael. Oh, there you are. I'm just glad you could make it at all. Our special's tonight, but some people still haven't submitted what they want us to say during it. I mean, we could go ahead without them, but it'd feel kind of unfair if we did. <laughs> I imagine it probably just slipped their minds, considering how much everyone has to do right now. But you are taking the time to give everyone's events coverage, so I'm sorry that they put you through this. Nah, don't sweat it. The festival gives us some good material every year. You won't see me complaining that students are making it better. The Academy's been getting lots of coverage ever since what happened last month, too. Oh, sorry. We don't have time to shoot the breeze about that. So you got the time to get this done? Sure, you bet. You'll be broadcasting tonight, so let's get this done as quickly as possible. You are the man. I'm still waiting on replies from Class 1, Class 5, and the Occult Research Society. I don't know where the people in charge of them are, but you probably will since you're all from the same academy. Get those comments. Leave it to me. Class 1 should still be rehearsing for their operetta. Yep. Class 5's Mishy's Panic's being set up in the gym, which leave the Occult Research Society. And I'll head to their club room. Right then, let's get going. Okay. I know I could warp up here, but I just haven't got any interest for a while, so it's kind of nice just to run around. Um, although, and there's our photographer friend. There she is. Excuse me, could I have a moment? Ferris, what are you doing here? This is class one's practice area. Did you see a sign that said class seven interlopers welcome? Or perhaps please interrupt us? No, then move along. I'm only here to ask about class one's comment for the radio special on the Academy Festival tonight. You still haven't submitted one. Oh, right. Did no one submit a comment for our class? I certainly haven't. Likewise, we've been so focused on practicing that it slipped our minds. <gasps> panic, panic ensues. I do like her dress though. <clears throat> well, listen well then. Class one will be performing an operetta set in the Middle Ages known as the Coronation of Garuda. It is the dramatic tale of Garuda, a most noble lady favored by the emperor himself as she struggles against her own destiny. The leading roles will be played to perfection by Patrick High Arms and myself, Ferris Florald. Our operetta, operetta, <laughs> our operetta won't just be captivating, but also educational. We've even sculpted an expert Okay. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? We've even consulted an expert to ensure our script's accuracy, but not my speech. Implore those of you listening not to miss out on our fabulous performance, especially in order to watch other lesser events performed by other lesser classes to the very same day. We will not be topped. I think that should do for now. Thanks. She really is competitive. All right. So, we're gonna leave here, and, yep, that's what I thought. So let's, let's go, oh. okay, I thought he had a thing, exclamation point. I have like a couple things over here. Hmm, I'm certain that I dropped it somewhere around here. Is something the matter? Nothing. Nothing, I said. <clears throat> for that matter, what are you doing here when you have preparations to make for the festival? Go get back to work. Normally I would, but you look as though you have something on your mind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? This is a personal matter, and you butting into my private affairs will do more harm than good. 
Though, since you're here, it couldn't hurt to ask. Have you seen a notebook around this area by any chance? It would have a black leather cover. I don't believe I've seen anything like that. I'd be happy to help you look, though. That is quite unnecessary. But if you are so inspired to assist me, you may do so by forgetting that this conversation ever took place. Understood? This missing notebook has him even more energy than usual. I probably shouldn't talk to him. That said, I'm sure you'd be happy if I found that notebook. I'll need some clues before I can do that, though. I must have dropped it while making my rounds. Aha, the roof's off. It's the only place that makes sense. Hmm, but then it should be around here. Wait, so he seriously dropped it on the roof? Maybe I can figure out where it might be if I head up there. Thing is, is... My story event is in the building, but I don't know if it's an entering the building kind of thing. So I'm gonna come back and help with that after I do... A couple things. So let's go in here to the gymnasium. Hi, hey, Laura. I've heard a great deal about you, Laura. <laughs> if you're up for it, I think it might be fun for the two of us to duel. Likewise, I can't think of a swordsman on campus who doesn't know your name. I'm sure that a duel would be fun for the both of us. Alright, so there's... Wow. There's a couple people here. Come on, work. I command you to work. Mishy, why have you forsaken us? Uh, is everything okay over here? Hey, watch out. This class seven joker's here to get the dirt on us. What, you think this is some sort of show? Get out of here before I make you get out of here. Simmer down, boys. Sorry about that. Truth is, the machine we're using isn't really working like it should, so we're all Oh, a little on edge. We sent someone off to get George, though, so our technical woes should be over before too long. What's your story? Do you have a reason for coming, or are you actually spying on us? It's the former, I assure you. I hate to ask when you're so busy, but it's about the festival feature on the radio tonight. Class 5 still hasn't provided the station with a comment, so I was hoping that someone could say some Oh, Idios, it's Monk. How could that radio freak have forgotten that? Yeah, you're gonna have to ask him. What the hell, man? He seemed so excited when he told us he'd take care of it. What could he even be doing right now? So instead of one of you coming up with a comment on the fly, I need to find Monk. Any idea where he might be at the moment? I don't think any of us have seen him since yesterday, actually. Whatever he's doing right now better be pretty important if he thinks he can just ditch us at a time like this. You sure he's not just sleeping in? Anyway, none of us have got time to come up with some fancy radio comment. You gotta go straight to Monk for that. Got it. I'll go look for him at the lower class dorm. Hopefully I can actually find him to the door. 